Hello everyone, this is a quick video to tell you how to budget Cajunize your 75 series platform. I have the stack of parts from Cajun Gunworks and I have the order sheet here. I'm going to tell you which parts that you need. There's five essential parts that I think that you need and I bought a non-essential floating trigger pin that's optional. It's not a performance part. It just replaces the hollow pin with a solid metal pin. You're going to be changing the trigger return spring so you're going to have it out of there anyway. So I just change it when I change the trigger return spring. Here's the list of parts. You have the hammer spring, the recoil spring, firing pin spring, the optional floating trigger pin, which is the most expensive part, the plunger spring, and the reduced power trigger return spring. So total cost for everything with shipping was $52, but you get rid of the optional floating trigger pin $39 with shipping. Kind of hard to beat. It will greatly improve the double and single action trigger pull. It will reduce the double action trigger pull to about seven and a half pounds and single action to three and a half pounds. I've done this on several other 75 series pistols. So I'm going to give you a quick bit of tips on how to do this. Make sure that you start with either the frame or the slide. Don't take apart both at the same time and get the parts confused. There's pins in both and you don't want to get the pins confused and you don't want to try and force a pin where it's not supposed to go and damage it and then you'll have to buy one from Cajun Gunworks. So it may be a good idea to have some extra parts if you do intend to be messing with this and Cajunizing it and you are kind of green. So be aware that there is tiny pins and springs and don't lose them. So focus first on the slide. There's a couple pins you got to remove. There's the pin here, the firing pin block, safety pin. And there's this pin here that holds in the extractor, and then there's a spring behind it. You're going to change the plunger spring and the spring that's on the firing pin. I didn't buy the extended firing pin because I don't need it. You only need that if you use the lightest hammer spring, which is like 11 pounds, and this is a 13 pound. So I didn't buy the lightest hammer spring, so I don't need the extended firing pin. So, But they do recommend that if you change the hammer spring, that you're going to change the uh, firing pin spring. Now, I am also going to try to change this hammer for the Shadow 2 competition hammer from the 75B Omega that it comes with. I'm going to do a little bit of surgery and see if I can get that competition hammer on this one because this is my EDC. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try it. And so uh, I'm going to do the slide first, which I know is going to work just fine, and then I'm going to focus on the frame. And the frame for the decocker model is a little bit different than the manual safety on where the spring is here in the sear cage that you remove to get the manual safety to come out. So a little bit different, but still not very difficult. You got to remove a couple pins, release the spring tension. You're going to have to take apart the sear cage to reduce the tension on the trigger bar to get the spring out here. Then you're going to have to use the slave pin that's in the kit in order to get it back with the new solid steel trigger pin. So that is the most difficult part is using that slave pin to get the uh, floating trigger pin and the trigger return spring back in there. That what I would say is the most difficult part about this. But I don't have any specialty tools. So I'm gonna use a roll of duct tape and some punches. I do have an armor's hammer, but I do recommend a small ball peen hammer or a smaller hammer that has a little more juice to it because these pins are kind of tight. Just make sure that you go nice and slow, and if you need a visual help, go to the Cajun Gunworks page and watch them take apart and reassemble a SP-01 with a decocker. It's going to be the same as this, just a bigger model. So remember, $40 to greatly improve your double and single action trigger pull and a little bit of work. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.